All right, so there are actually nine reasons why someone is deficient in vitamin D. Let's go through them. Number one, I don't know if you knew this, but bacteria and viruses have a unique strategy of interfering with your absorption of vitamin D. There's what's called the vitamin D receptor. And what they do is they block it. So you can't get enough vitamin D, which is essential for your immune system. And that's how they survive. And that's how they kind of break down your defenses by shutting down that vitamin D before you can even get some help. The Epstein-Barr virus lowers the vitamin D receptor. HIV virus completely stops the vitamin D receptor, shuts it down. So if you have HIV or Epstein-Barr virus, you should be taking a lot of vitamin D. TB downregulates the vitamin D receptor. So they're very devious, these viruses and bacteria. Um, they go right for this, um, the receptor for vitamin D. And that's why a lot of uh, different uh, illnesses um, use what's called vitamin D uh, receptor analogs there, which are basically kind of, they mimic vitamin D and they actually bypass the system and go right in. Um, but you can actually do it other ways as well. You can increase the amount of vitamin D that you're taking. You can also take uh, bile salts, but I'll do a separate vid uh, video just on that. Aging decreases the skin's conversion of vitamin D. So as you get older, you need three times as much vitamin D. Um, and that's when you actually really need it, when you get older. So if you're older, you should be taking vitamin D. Uh, but always take it with food because it's a fat soluble vitamin, okay? And it'll go in a lot better. Um, number three, difficult to get vitamin D in the diet. I did a whole separate video on this. It's almost impossible to get really what you need from your diet, unless you're doing cod liver oil, because it's just, it's just not in the foods. If you're breastfeeding, you need to be taking vitamin D. If you're pregnant, you need to be taking vitamin D. Very important for that growing child. Uh, number four, 57% of the population is deficient in vitamin D. Uh, I think it's between 37 and 57%. But uh, a lot of that's based on your location, where you live in the world. So in different latitudes, if you're in the south, in the tropics, chances are you're probably not going to be very deficient. But if you're, you're in the north, which a very large population lives, that right there can severely decrease your vitamin D from the sun exposure. Number five, mutations with the vitamin D receptor. It's called uh, polymorphism, okay? And just a fancy word for there's some alteration in the vitamin D receptor in certain populations, okay? And it's actually higher than you think. And there's, different, there's four different alterations in this little receptor, and it's a genetic thing. And you can get a test, you can find out if you have this problem. And this would explain if you have any of these symptoms, like for example, your depression, autoimmune disease, insomnia, adrenal fatigue that can't seem to be resolved, some skin disorder like psoriasis, eczema, uh, chronic inflammation, and you're taking vitamin D, it's supposed to create effect, but it's not working. What you need is you need a lot more because you may have this genetic defect within the receptor um, and it's just not working. You won't see any effects. If you have a fatty liver or hepatitis or cirrhosis of the liver, you're not going to absorb vitamin D too well. Okay. So because your liver is, is key in the uh, absorption of vitamin D, the conversion of vitamin D, even from the sun, as well as the kidneys, you need good kidneys and a good liver to actually absorb and use vitamin D. Number seven, you don't go outside anymore. You're inside all day long. Maybe as a kid, you're outside, but now you just stay inside. Well, that could be a big reason. Uh, number eight, if you have a chronic infection, a low-grade uh, infection, which a lot of people have, and they have, they have chronically fatigued or they have um, fibromyalgia or some type of um, low-level infection going on, that can suck the vitamin D right out of your tissues because every single immune cell has receptors for vitamin D. It's important in preventing infections. And then if you have an infection, uh, it will deplete your vitamin D. High levels of cortisol, okay, from stress will deplete vitamin D. Uh, so another interesting thing that you may not uh, realize. So the more stress that you have, the more vitamin D you should take. It's going to bring your mood up as well.
So I hope this increased your awareness of the importance of vitamin D and the reason why people need it. Thanks for watching. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.